What's up everyone? In this tutorial, we'll be showing you how to use ByteSide app. ByteSide app is a great app for foodies. And if you're here and you're wondering how to use it, not to worry because in a few minutes, we'll be taking you on the different aspects and features of ByteSide. So currently, this is the page where we are at and this is what you're expecting to see while here on ByteSide. ByteSide has a social media style design and you would love to use it. For example, we're currently on a restaurant called Plantiga and it's about 0.5 miles away. So there you can find this information just at the bottom where you have the chicken over rice vegan, the details of the meal, and you can see the name of the restaurant right there, Plantiga, 0.5 miles away. It also lets you know that it's a popular dish or a popular option. You can also see the rating, and this current restaurant has this meal. Now, if you want to see other meals in this restaurant, you can simply swipe to the left. You will see other meals in this restaurant. You can slide to the left again and you will see more or swipe to the right after you've been swiping to the left for a while. So you can see by swiping to the left, you will remain in this current restaurant. If you want to change the restaurant, you can swipe up and it's going to take you to another restaurant. So this is how you get to change restaurants easily while using ByteSide. And you can also on this current restaurant, slide to the right to find out more food videos available in this restaurant. Now, if you're interested in more meals in this restaurant, you can see that at the bottom area, you can see menu, add to cart. So we're going to tap on menu. And here you can see artichoke basil's pizza, right? We're currently here in this restaurant. It's 0.5 miles away. That's the address, the rating. And of course, it also has a delivery fee there, which is currently zero. And you can see the delivery menu and it's available at 10 a.m. today, right? So you can also see highlighted items. When you scroll down, you can see slices and drinks. And as you scroll down, you can see more options. You have pies and you have others. If you want to, of course, add any of these, you can simply tap on the plus icon right there, such as the Sicilian pie. We're going to tap on the plus and you can see right there one. If you want more, you can tap on the plus again and it's now two. But take note that because it's two or three, you can use the minus to reduce the number. Now, when it's one and you want to change that order completely, you can tap on the trash icon and it takes it away. And currently you have to start selecting from scratch. We could do that to another order and you can see it reacts the same way. So this is how you get to select a restaurant, view their content and actually select what you want. Now, after selecting it, for example, let's say we want the margarita slice. We're going to tap on margarita slice, say we want two. You can see at the bottom here, it's been added to the cart, artichokes, basil spitter. It's three currently because we had another one added previously. When you tap on view cart, you can see the crab slice and the margarita slice. If you don't want the crab slice, you know what to do. Tap on the trash icon and it will be taken away. If you want to go ahead with your order, you can tap and go to checkout. And there you can see your cart summary, your delivery details. And if you want to change anything, you can simply tap on any of these options to change the option of your delivery details. If you have a promo code, of course, you could go ahead and put in your promo code and then you have the summary. Of course, if you want to proceed, you can tap and place order and it has some confirmation you could read through that and then say proceed anyway. The next page, of course, will be your payment information where you get to add the payment information. And also, as you've added your payment information, you could choose to save the payment details to Bysac Corporation for future purchases. When you're done, you can tap and pay and that will initialize your transaction. Now, there is actually more to buy site. For example, if you want to change your location before actually making an order, you could look at the top left corner where you have the icon there and it's currently asking for access to our location. It's currently turned off. But of course, if you tap on the location icon, you can see that you can search for any location, perhaps where you're currently at or another location. If you're trying to surprise someone, you can actually select that location and add it right there. You can use the search option and add your location. Then at the top right area, you can see the filter icon and the search icon. When you tap on the filter icon, you can see filters. Currently, we're on no desserts, no drinks, and only restaurants that are open. Of course, we want to deal with restaurants that are open because we want our meals to be here on time. So we have only open and this will show you 
only restaurants that are open. There are other filters such as healthy, dish price, under 30, rating, deals only, etc. If you have dietary restrictions, this is a drop down, and when you select it, you'll see other options such as being vegetarian, vegan, gluten free, etc. And then you could tap and apply or clear selection. And once you do that, it will show you only meals that will support your preference. As you can see, the chicken parm sub, and they say it's vegan. So that's an option to look at if you're vegan and then that's how you get to use the filter another way to filter what you're seeing is to use the search icon tap on it at the top right corner and you can see search if you're looking for sushi you can tap in sushi tap in search and of course you can see sushi options you can scroll down to change the restaurant and you have different options presented to you now at the bottom you have different buttons you have the food which is the current option we're on and then you have saved now if you like this meal at the right corner you can see some buttons right there when you tap on save it will bookmark or save this video or meal for you if you'd like to view all the meals you've saved you can tap on save and it's going to show you all or your saved dishes. So that's how you get to use a saved option. Now, you also have the discover button and this helps you to discover deals, chill brunch vibes, protein punch, etc. Basically, if you're an explorer, this will be your best button to play with because it's going to show you different options. And we love the exclusive deals because we like to get good deals on meals we love to eat. Then of course, you can see here Caribbean salad, sandwich, Japanese breakfast. And when we tap on Caribbean, it takes us back to food where we get to find Caribbean dishes and definitely you'd love to make your pick of the different options available right then of course you have activity and here in activity this is where you get to see what those whom you're following or what others have done with the app so it's kind of like a social media experience where you get to see other activities from other users especially those whom you're following right so you also have the profile and under profile you can change your profile settings such as manage profile share profile follow friends and then at the bottom you have your food court and this is where you get to find those whom you've rated and of course if you'd like to rate you can tap on feed and then you have the review on the right side of your screen you have save which we talked about then you have share then reviews and you have the speaker icon if you'd like to hear the audio of this video right so we go back to profile and as you can see we have food court then you have wallet if you want to add your promo codes you can add them there and then you have your order history your order history will show you your previous orders and your current order if it's in transit and of course if you just made an order and you'd like to cancel that order you can do it right here so this is what we can take on ByteSide. This is how to use the ByteSide app. And you can go ahead and use ByteSide to fulfill your food cravings and enjoy your meal. Bon appetit.